Don't put the delicious, nice and frosty. It's nice and frosty. Nice and frosty. Oh, we ain't got nothing left, so we must have get that in here too. From my blueberries that my blueberries was in so that I can use it because they have a little strain down there to wash off my strawberries. So now I'm going to take the green off the strawberries. I'm going to pick that off. Set them in here so I can wash them off. And let them strain and dry off. And then once they dry, I will start to freeze them. And if you have fruits, put them in like that and let them freeze. Then I'm going to do some more. Washing the strawberries out. Get them nice and clean. So they have to freeze. We use them later in that smoothie. If you have one like this here, you want to ask them. Have they? Have they been clean? See, let them hang out and dry out some. But I'm going to take these off and lay them on paper towels so that they can dry out. Okay, now I'm going to lay my strawberries on a paper towel so they can dry off. I'm going to move this over some so you can see strawberries as I'm taking them out of the container. You want to make chocolate colored strawberries, you need to do this first too. Well, I also clean them and dry them. Now I can start working on my next batch of strawberries. Okay, see you later. Now while we're waiting for our strawberries to dry, we can take our bananas. They say you're supposed to open them this way. Take our bananas and start cutting them up and put them in the freezer so that they can get frozen. You want to do your bananas too before they go bad. If you see your bananas are going bad and no one is eating them, it's time to start freezing. Instead of using another whole ice cream, I'm just going to like set it on top of here and let them freeze like that. See how I did that guys? Just set them up there and now I'm going to put them in the refrigerator so they can start freezing while I'm waiting on my strawberries to dry. Okay, it's time to Take our frozen bananas and put them in a sandwich bag. So we can start freezing our strawberries. Throw these in the freezer real quick. Cause they are 
really kind of sour. Then I'm going to put my strawberries in there so they can stop freezing. Now it's time to put the strawberries in. Okay, we got those in there. I'm going to start freezing these now. Okay, I'm going to just cook some gravy and Salisbury steak. And I'm going to be cooking some potatoes. You can't see them in there. So I'm going to have to show you the potatoes like this. I'm going to be cooking some potatoes. Going to boil them. Some size bear and steak. Very, very short, quick dinner today because I don't feel like doing a whole lot of cooking. So that's what I'll be having today. And of course, a little salad on the side. Let me read the directions here. Oh, I forgot how to cook them. It's been so long. Okay, let's see. It says preheat oven at 375. Okay, I preheat the oven. Remove heat tray, safe tray from carton. Remove film from tray. Place the heat safe tray on a cooking sheet. I have no cooking sheet. I let it fix in here. It yeah, fits in there. It sets it up though. Okay, that's good enough. I'll take this out. Let me sit up in here. That way, some heat can get up under there, the bottom too. That might work out better than on a cookie sheet. I think we'll find out though in a few minutes, won't we? Oh, a little bit more than a few minutes. But anyway, we will be finding out. Okay, guys, while we wait on the steak and potatoes, I'm going to make a smoothie. Get the rest of my other stuff that I had already left over. I had two more strawberries that was already frozen. I got new fruits now. I got the new fruits. So I'm using these old fruits that I had frozen. Get them out of the way. I'm over now. Let me do it off. Okay. I'm going to put... Um, a couple of my new bananas up in there. I made my new strawberries up in there. They're not frozen though. Okay, that's enough because I ain't got that many bananas. I'm going to put a little yogurt. I'm going to put that yogurt. I'm going to stir it up and mix it up. Because you know when the yogurt and sour cream and collard cheese and stuff set the liquid comes apart from the cream you always have to stir on it up sometimes people be thinking it's not no good anymore and they throw it out but it's still some good it's just that you need to stir it up and that Spoon with yoga. I think that should be enough. Little milk. Little milk, guys. Oh, milk is kind of heavy.
Mix it up a little bit just for that more yoga in there. There we go. That should be enough yoga. I'm not going to take the spoon out yet and put it in the sink because I might need some more. Where's my top? My top is over here with these strawberries. Okay, let's put the top on. And let's see what we come up with. A little bit too much yoga, but it's delicious. Hey guys, this here is the way to go. No sugar, all natural ingredients, fruits. Yoga, you can use no fat milk if you want to, or almond milk, any other kind of milk if you want to, to make it even more healthy. I got to put this stuff up and clean this up and then I get back to you when it's